chapter wise list of all my videos is available at this point for dvd pen drive please write an email to me these videos they do not require internet they play offline there is no problem of buffering and please subscribe to my channel for regular updates thank you thank you for your support once again n is the foot of the perpendicular from a point p on the diameter ab of a circle with radius 7 cm let us draw a circle first of all this is a circle and let ab be the diameter of this circle and let o be the center of this circle n is the foot of the perpendicular from a point p we have any point p on the periphery of the circle and from there we drop a perpendicular on the diameter ab the radius of the circle has been given as 7 cm so we can mark ob equal to 7 cm if the length of the chord pb is 12 cm that is this length pb has been given to us as 12 cm then what is the distance of point n from point b so this was the point n n is the foot so this is the point n we have to find out the length nb the distance of point b from point n so we have to find out nb this question is not definitely easy but the solution of this question is of only two or three steps so the story depends on how you approach this question many students will approach it with the help of pythagoras theorem that is one of the approaches but that will become so complicated that the solution will take much time than the time that is given to you for this question the examiner has in his mind that this question should be solved within 10 to 15 seconds by a good candidate so we don't have to go through the longer pythagoras theory we have to now observe this uh, diagram in such a way so that we are able to establish the relation between b n 7 12 and with that we will be able to find out the length b n let us from point o drop a perpendicular to the chord pb so this is a perpendicular to the chord pb and let this meet the chord pb in point q now since oq is perpendicular to the chord pb this point q will bisect the chord pb into two equal parts this we already know from a property of the chords of a circle so we can write that qb will be equal to half of 12 that is it will be equal to 6 cm next let us have a look at this smaller triangle this one and the bigger triangle this one now both these triangles are right angle triangles so we can write both pnb and obq are 90 degrees or right angled triangles this is one thing we can see the second thing that we see is that angle b is common to both of them this angle b belongs to the smaller triangle also it belongs to the bigger triangle also so b is common so which implies by double a rule of similarity triangle p and b is similar to triangle obq now if the two triangles are similar 
then the ratios of their corresponding sides they have to be equal let us start with the bigger triangle in the bigger triangle the side opposite to the 90 degree angle is pb so let us write pb opposite 90 degrees by the corresponding side of the smaller triangle opposite to this 90 would be ob so i will write ob here which is opposite 90 degrees so bigger triangle i am taking in the numerator and smaller in the denominator now come to the bigger triangle the side opposite to this angle p is nb so i will write nb opposite p this will be taken with the side opposite this angle the side opposite this angle the side opposite this angle of the smaller triangle is bq opposite o now let us fit the values given to us which implies what is pb pb is given to us as 12 12 by what is ob ob is the radius 12 by 7 is equal to what is nb nb is required so we will write nb as such by bq now what is bq we found that bq should be 6 because q will bisect this chord into two equal parts so it is 6 which implies now let us take 6 to the other side and we will obtain the value of nb nb is equal to 12 into 6 by 7 so it will be 72 by 7 now it can be cast into the standard form write it like this 7 tens are 70 this 2 is the remainder so this can be cast into this form 10 take this 2 by 7 so it will be 10 2 by 7 cm this is one of the options in this question so this is the answer as i have always told you that if you understand the basic proofs of the theorems that i have given in my previous tutorials then such questions can be easily done because those proofs they help us develop good reasoning skills if you do not understand those proofs properly then you will be stuck in these questions you might enter into the pythagoras theorem in this question which will be a two page answer for this question but this is just a two line answer because i taught you very well in those videos how to just think in terms of the lines and angles and the perpendiculars let us move on to our next question now the lengths of two parallel chords of a circle are 6 and 8 cm respectively let us first of all draw a circle and let us also draw and let me suppose this is the center let me also draw two chords this is one chord given to us its length can be marked as 6 the second uh, 6 cm the second chord is 8 cm and this is the center of this circle if the smaller chord is at a distance of 4 cm from the center smaller chord is 6 cm so we have been given if this is perpendicular this distance has been given to us as 4 cm then what is the distance of the other chord from the center we have to find out let me call this point as ox and if we drop a perpendicular here this will be oy and we have to find out the length oy let me call this point as p this chord be called pq this point be b 
and this chord be called AB. So to recapitulate the question, PB PQ is a chord of length 6 cm, AB is a chord of length 8 cm and from O the distance of PQ is 4, the distance of AB from O is required. This question can be easily reasoned out. We will start by joining O to P and also join O to B. We observe that OP is the radius of the circle, so we can mark it R. OB is also the radius of the circle, we can mark it also R, which means this is equal to this. Now, let us make another observation. This OX is perpendicular to the chord PQ. And we know from the basic theorems that a perpendicular from the center of a circle to a chord divides the chord into two equal parts, which means that this length XP is going to be 3 cm because the entire is 6 and this bisection will make it 3 cm. Similarly, OY is perpendicular to the chord AB. The entire length of AB has been given as 8, therefore the length YB will be 4 cm. So by applying the reasoning, we have been able to deduce XP and also YB. And we also reasoned out that this arm OP will be equal to this arm OB. Now, I assert that triangle OPX is congruent to triangle OBY. Now, why are they congruent? First of all, both are right angles. Both are 90 degree triangles. So we can write R here. Now also see that OB is the hypotenuse for this triangle and OP is the hypotenuse for this triangle. Therefore, their hypotenuse OP is equal to OB hypotenuse H are also equal to each other. And thirdly, we see that OX is 4, OX is equal to YB, both 4, both are 4 centimeters. We can write S here. So by the right angle hypotenuse and side rule, both the triangles are congruent to each other. Their right angles are equal, hypotenuse match this side matches this side. So if they are if they are congruent to each other, then the third pair of the sides, they should also be equal. The third side of this triangle is 3 cm. The third side of this triangle is the required side. So we can say that this required side, therefore OY will be equal to XP will also be equal to 3 centimeters. So by a simple reasoning, we have been able to find out the solution to this question that the distance OY should also be 3 centimeters. All these th proofs, all these deductions, they are dependent on the zero level discussions that I have done for the case of congruent triangles, for the case of similar triangles and for the case of circles where I have proved the basic theorems in very simple steps. Those things, they are coming very handy to us in such questions. You should go through those videos, don't skip them. They are the basics of all this. Let us move on to our next question now.